fellow Raxians, Commander Sirius here. You may have been in a position like this before, where you think there's no possible way you could lose the fight. But somehow the guy turns around and puts you down in a fraction of a second. Many times I've seen, usually a newer player, come forward with a question just like this to the community. So often the answer is either get good or shoot the head. And usually that's perfect advice and the answer to their problem. The problem is that's not very helpful. Because there is a very large chasm between the problem they are having and being good enough to not have it. So how do you go about this, improving your aim? Common advice is go watch some videos or streams. And there is a lot to glean from other players' gameplay. The thing is, though, becoming better doesn't happen just through osmosis. You can't just absorb it by watching and learning from other players. There needs to be a shift in mentality. You have to be actively changing things you are doing. You have to work through things that will initially feel uncomfortable. And you have to eliminate handicaps you have imposed on yourself. So as I approach this topic with you, I am going to break it down into some digestible chunks. That is key principles of gunplay. The first one is visibility. You have to be able to see what you're shooting at. Okay, good. First topic done. See you planet side, guys. Good hunting out there. No, guys, this is actually a tricky part of gunplay. And it's also where you have to make a massive decision. That is in your settings. When you see players cranking down their settings to potato mode, the first thing that comes to many people's minds is sweaty tryhards that want to be able to climb walls and they can shoot bullets faster. And sure, those are little pieces of it, but the biggest reason is another principle of gunplay, consistency. It reduces your input latency and keeps your movement smooth for better tracking. But it does more than just that. It brings visibility. Let's watch through a clip here and determine if I can see what I'm shooting at. And I think for many people, the answer will be, yeah, well, there's a dude in front of you and you shot at him. You can obviously see him. That's not the case, though. Let's look again. Keep in mind, we're on ultra settings here. I turn the corner and I struggle to notice where he is right away. He's sort of blending into the background. And then I start firing between the particle effects from his weapon and the particle effects around me, I can't really grasp where he is. Now I got lucky here because he ducked into my torso shots. But the problem with the lack of visibility here is I'm firing in his general direction, not at a specific point I need to hit. Now let's take a peek back at that opener. Now here I have excellent visibility. First, my settings are way down, so I'm not really distracted by particle effects on me or on him. There's a little bit of muzzle flash, but compared to the last clip, where my enemy is almost entirely engulfed and shrouded by his muzzle flash, this I can mentally latch onto much better. And that's what gunplay is all about, and why visibility is a very key principle of it. You are trying to eliminate every possible extraneous calculation your mind is making. As I am trying to track this light assault, my mind is going wild. There's light flashes, then it's rapidly going dark. Now all of a sudden, I can barely pick my target out from the background. You can see my reticle jerk ahead of him. What should be me reflexively tracking his head is instead a lot of time by me trying to discern my target from the background. Compare that to being on lower settings where most of the lighting and particle effects are turned down, and the character models stand out from the background. My mind isn't struggling to find the target. It can focus entirely on tracking the target. I land crisp shots, and when he jukes, I can immediately readjust. I can even make a split-second calculation to fire between the handrails. And all of this happens before I can really think about it. Visibility is also going to have a huge effect now how quickly you can pick out a target 
when you make a quick turn. Boom, you have a new scene in front of you. How quickly does your mind process it? What's the good guys? What's the bad guys? What are the threats? The more visual clutter you eliminate from the scene, that's less that your mind has to track through and make a decision as to what you're going to shoot at. And not just find the bad guy, but find the bad guy's head. So guys, I think you can see what I'm driving at here, and that difficult decision you have to make is between beauty, because Planetside truly is a beautiful game on Ultra, or giving up some of that cinematic feel, some of those aesthetics, in order to improve your performance. As a content creator, I'm constantly flipping and flopping back and forth, which is a major sin against another principle of gunplay, which is consistency. But for me, I want to balance footage that I get that is beautiful and footage that I get with epic killstreaks. For you making that decision, I don't think there is a wrong one. To me, I hope it's just about understanding. If you ever get upset or frustrated with some of these people that are super good, know that they have eliminated every possible handicap in their way. One of them being ultra settings. If you so choose, you can eliminate much of the visual clutter in the game to improve your mind's ability to latch onto the enemy target and more importantly, latch onto their head. Now there's some visual clutter you can no longer remove, namely smoke. It used to be if you set your settings down on low, you didn't see smoke. This footage is back before where you could turn it off you can see after I lose this fight because of smoke, I immediately ditch my particles, which was not enough to completely eliminate at the time, but didn't prove it. So since that change, now that you cannot eliminate smoke, you are going to see a lot more footage of me like this. Here I am using the Improvision implant. It really cranks your visibility up to maximum, whether there is smoke or not. Now it does have its drawbacks with non-spotted targets and infiltrators, but really making the enemy characters pop helps you track your targets. Obviously, Improvision is not a solution for everyone. It is an exceptional implant that can be difficult to get, but I just want to point out that making sure you have good visibility of your enemies is a key part to being able to track them well. You will have the option of using an Improvision scope on many of your weapons, I do caution the one negative about them is there is additional scope in time associated with those as opposed to a reflex sight. So you will be at a disadvantage in heads up CQC fights with that, but you will gain some visibility. If you find that the muzzle flash on your weapons is super distracting, you can equip a flash suppressor on many of them. Its only downside now is that you show up a little further away on the minimap. It does not carry any projectile velocity or maximum damage range disadvantages like a suppressor does, so that could be a good option to clear your vision. Okay, fellow Araxians, that is where I'm going to leave you with your introduction to the principles of gunplay. A sneak peek for the next one is we will dive into consistency, arguably an even more important topic, and we'll dive in to start talking about tracking, how you can keep your reticle on that enemy, and really making it feel like you have control of your character in game. Being able to eliminate calculations in terms of visually tracking the enemy is one thing, but then you need to eliminate the need to compensate for your hardware or latency or software issues. So fellow Araxians, keep improving every day. And until next time, I will see you, Planetside.